Our farm is located in Cambridge, Wisconsin, in America's Dairyland. We are milking right now 220 cows. I went farmer hunting and I found my man about 22 years ago. Our twin daughters, Anna and Catherine, were um, in high school and Anna said that she wanted to farm with us, but she didn't want to milk nine hours a day. There's a lot more that goes on with dairy farming than just milking the cows. It feels like all you're doing is milking the cows when you are in a tie stall barn, and I wanted to focus on the cow comfort and cow health aspect of it. The relationship between Ardles and Hinchley's is like a partnership. People buy robots for a lot of different reasons. In their case, it was a labor issue, so we took them to farms that save labor. As we started looking at robots, we wanted to see who had been in it the longest. The Laleys really stuck out to me. I was impressed that it was designed by farmers. The arm, it moved with the cows, and it was smooth, and it was quiet. So when I saw this robot, it was something that I could figure out that that would be the future of our farm. I want to go and continue the dairy farming aspect of it, so we put up a new robot barn. It feels great. I feel like I can live five weeks into the robots being in. We are like, let's go to a movie. And it was four o'clock, and that's when we'd start milking. And it was just like, this is what normal people feel like. <laughs> We've been giving farm tours for 21 years now. It's a great way to go and get uh, socially sustainable with the community and uh, advocate for agriculture. Most of the kids that come out on tours, this may be their only farm visit ever. When they come out, it's an eye-opening experience for them to see how passionate we are about our land, our water, the air, everything that is around us. And when they're going through with the hayride and the cows are reaching out to them, they feel the love of the animals. And it's not something that they can experience anywhere else unless it's face to face on the farm. Tina has groups here almost daily during the summer and they did not have consistent labor uh, to help them milk. And in some cases she would be stuck milking at the time she was supposed to be doing a tour and robots was uh, you know, the answer. That's something that a lot of farms don't have time for. It's really something that we need to start pushing as people start getting so many generations away from agriculture. I feel very strongly about saving small family farms. Even though it's a small part, I'm playing a part in allowing people to continue to dairy that otherwise would be selling out because of labor issues, health issues, things like that. I've personally seen farmers break down, literally come to tears, telling me how this technology has helped them. Robots are the tools that are saving my life, and literally saving my life. Pushing and feed is a lot of hard work on your shoulders and your hips and your knees. Having those Junos running on a regular basis has boosted our milk production. Scraping floors, that had to be done before milking. The discoveries, they buzz around and um, take care of that manure. If we didn't have the robots, our future would be selling cows. You know, somebody coming out and starting fresh with a dairy science degree, I think this is just, it's the way to go. I went to school for dairy farm management, not to milk cows, so the robots are a blessing. Um, so now I can have more time to manage the things that I really like to focus on. Now that we have the robots, we have time to be better managers. We have made the barn as cow comfortable as possible. So they're free to do whatever they want when they want. So they can eat their feet or they can get a drink of water. We have the Laylee Luna brushes in there. So whenever the cow wants to get a scratch, she can go and get a scratch or relieve herself and go get milk. So there's a lot of cow comfort going on in that barn. All the technology with the Laylee robots, uh, it can be accessed through my phone. I look at the Utter Health Report see if there's any mastitis issues or abnormal milk. So I can uh, sort those cows out in the robot and we can put them in the sort pen. I have a camera app so I can go and watch my cows 24 seven going into the robot and coming out. When the robot is not happy, the robot talks to my phone. If there's something wrong, it's gonna let me know. But the thing with the robot alarms is that it's pinpointing which robot it is 
And a lot of times, it's telling me what the problem is and the solution right there. The more that we can teach our farmers to do, the less expense they're gonna have down the road through the FMS support, which is farm management support. We really wanna make sure they achieve their goals. You have to keep improving. If you're gonna stay in the industry, technology is out there for you to take advantage of it uh, and make your life easier and uh, to be as productive as possible. This is an investment. This is future labor. This is future happiness. This is future health. Everything is going on in that barn right now. Milking for me was a structure and a routine that I took on, but now I'm ready to retire. I'm gonna retire from that milking and I can go on into the Laley milking and assist Anna in her legacy. It's definitely a pleasure to be milking with Laley robots.